All right, Stephen Key here. Thank you for watching. Today, I want to talk about protecting your ideas. And I'm not talking about running out and filing a patent. I'm not talking about that, but I'm talking about filing a provisional patent application. I've talked about it before. You can do it yourself. You don't have to hire an attorney. You can if you want, but you need to learn how to do it yourself. So even if you do hire an attorney, you're giving him the right information. That's it, you guys. You have to learn how to do it. Is it fun? No, it's not fun at all. I, I don't like it. It's not fun at all. But you will begin to appreciate the, the little things that add up to ownership, perceived ownership, when you really understand your idea. That means building a prototype, right? Maybe, you know, if you get some interest, or maybe you think you need to build it to figure out what works and what doesn't. I don't think you have to always build a prototype. You can, you can kind of follow that first PPA to see if there's any interest and then go back. But, but you need to understand a well-written provisional patent application tells a story. That's all it does. It tells a really great story. It, it tells a story that, hey, there's a problem and I've come up with a solution. And then I have drawings to show that solution. Those drawings are worth a thousand words. I cannot say enough about drawings. And I don't mean sketches on a napkin. I mean hiring someone to take your ideas and put them down on paper so you show how, how you can build whatever you're talking about or show the different parts. A well-written provisional patent application also that you need to do to stop other people from working around you. See, I don't think they steal ideas. I think companies, what they do, they might work around you if you're unreasonable, right? So what I want you to do is stop them from doing that. And you stop them by doing that by trying to steal it from yourself. Now that sounds crazy, but that's how you do it. You come up with different variations and you put those variations in your provisional patent application. And guess what? There's no patent attorney on the planet that's going to do that type of work for you. That's why you have to do it yourself. That's why you have to be the expert at this and nobody but you. And, and guess what? You can do it. You'll need to do a Google image search, see if there's a similar idea out there. Guess what? You'll find a similar idea, but know your point of difference. That's all I'm saying. Also, learn how to do a prior art search. Go to Google Patents and start looking at similar patents that are, that are close to your idea. Who knows? You might even find your idea. You know, I have before many, many times. But even, if, even though I find my idea, and if it's not on the market yet, I try to find out why. Because there might be something they missed. Because my rotating label I have, it was patented 50 years ago, and I still have 20 patents on it today and made a lot of money from it. Because they missed something. That's what's important to me. Is it on the market? I don't really care about prior patents as much, but is that idea on the market? So a well, written provisional patent application is a little daunting. I said it right there. You guys, how do I do? And you're going to be worried about it. So I've been teaching people to go out and, you know, teaching them how to do it themselves through my class. And, you know, maybe there's some software out there, but the software out there to write a provisional patent application has never been that great. They try to make it very simple. You fill it out, fill in the blanks, and it spits it out. Oh God, it's not that great. So I've teamed up with Gene Quinn, which is a very, very popular man. He's a patent attorney, law professor. He has the most popular law blog in the United States. Everybody reads his work. And he was even, um, he got this award this year as being the top um, intellectual property strategist in the country. This guy is really smart. James, make sure you put a picture up of, of Gene Quinn here. And we teamed up. Um, and we created this program called Smart IP by Inventright and Gene Quinn. And it's very affordable, and uh, I think it's $99, and it's going to teach you how to do it. You guys, it's going to show you how to do it. And guess what? It's not just real simple. We, 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 we worked with Gene to make sure that it was done correctly, right? It was done where it was, it was done well. So if you, if you need that, if you're worried about it, you get it, you guys, you'll love it. And if you really want to be super good at this, right? And if you really, really want to be great at this, and I think everybody does, pick up this book here. See, right behind me. 
how to license an idea with or without a patent. Because I talk about PPA, provisional patent application strategy. I talk about the strategy and I think you'll find that it's, it's very beneficial. That same strategy can be applied to startup companies. It can be applied to anybody that's in a licensing agreement. So the double whammy I'm talking about here is very simple, everyone. You're going to have to do the, your own homework. That's right. And I'm going to tell you, you can. It, the first one's going to be the hardest one. OK, great. But if you, if you decide to do it yourself, you'll do a great job. So the double whammy is Smart IP by InventRight and Gene Quinn. Get it. It's fantastic. Second thing, get the book and, and use that as a double whammy for you to be really good at this. Because guess what? You need that perceived ownership. You need to have that provisional patent application that's written so well that when a potential licensee, the company you're showing to, sees it, guess what? They license it just from a provisional patent application. And I'll tell you why that's so important to me. Because I get to see licensing agreements get signed through our company, InventRight, every single week now. That's right. And the only thing that people are getting deals with is, number one, a fairly good idea, the right fit to the company, good marketing material, and guess what? A well-written provisional patent application. You got to have them all. And that's how deals are getting today. 99% of all the deals I see, and I see them once a week now, it's only done with the provisional patent application, but it has to be written well. And you can do it yourself, and it's really affordable. If you hire an attorney, it's going to cost you $2,500 plus. And guess what? It won't be as good as the job that you can do. I said it. There, there you go. It won't be as good as the job you can do. And if you're not comfortable with it, if you're not sure about it, have Gene Quinn review it for a couple, I don't know, three, four hundred dollars. He'll even review it, and you can learn from it too. I'm trying to save your money. I'm trying to get you to do the best job you can to get in the game and have the confidence you're doing everything right. Whew. Stephen Key here. Thanks for watching. Subscribe down below. We're over 12,000. Yay. We're looking for 13,000. Uh, please come back, share it with your friends, and keep watching. Thanks, guys. Bye. Hi, this is Stephen Key, and I just want to thank you for watching InventRight TV. We're here to save you time, save you money, and show you how you can bring your products to market through licensing. So please subscribe down below, click on the button, and tell your friends. Thank you.